<clears throat> right here I have my setup with um, the flight controller uh, powering uh, four motors uh, but uh, instead of letting the flight controller control this motor I take that signal into the oscilloscope here you can see um, and right now it's powered off I'm just gonna turn it on for a second okay so the radio is on um, and the orange RX is not uh, getting power right now I have, this is the power to the uh, orange but I have not plugged it in you can see here it's uh, giving um, um, a signal to the motor it's a uh, one millisecond uh, duty cycle and um, I give power to the motor uh, to the receiver and uh, it's receiving signal from the controller now so still one millisecond um, now I uh, arm the it's not arm yet so I'm gonna arm it like that now it's armed the red light is on on the flight controller still one millisecond and I can give some throttle you can see it's the cycle goes down. Now, if I just unplug this uh, orange, the motors go crazy. And they. It's not the motor controller, it's the flight controller doing that. So it's giving um, full throttle to all the motors. Uh, and it just keeps doing that, and I have zero throttle here. Of course, this is not doing anything anymore. So whenever it stops receiving a signal, it gives full throttle to uh, old motor. And that might not be the most opti optimal thing for the flight controller to do. Uh, it's doing random things. It's it's not controlling it by gyros anymore. Um, there's just two ways to stop this, and it's the pulling the battery or giving it the signal from the um, the orange again. Like that. Now we have it, it has a signal and stop doing that. So, this is a pretty bad bug with this flight controller. <laughs>